Welcome back fans and friends for this upcoming video. I have the obviously you can see in the background there is a bunch of Fords. They are all Cosworths, but they are not all the same Cosworth. This one here is the 1987 Sierra. This one here is the exact same thing, but the premium version of it. And you can see that uh, Indonesia and Malaysia are not on the same level. You can just see how much. Well, you do pay almost double for it, three times more actually. The, uh, and obviously there I didn't have a uh, Escort Cosworth from Mattel so this is the grid light this is by I believe it's my second favorite version of the car if not the fav my favorite version of it and unlike the other two it does this thing where the hood opens which none of these vehicles in the rest of the video will do and however it does have the uh, rear view mirrors which is great from green light you can just watch that video and so here's the reason for all of that you have here the 1987 ford sierra cosworth the 1993 ford escort rs cosworth that one there is 1994 the others are the same 1987. now did i buy it for no reason yes because if you have this you can see even by the wheels and the physical layout the car is nearly identical as it should be they're both 1987s and this one now that i see the wheels it does look extremely familiar to another vehicle i will have i believe it's the rs 1600 and the rs 2000 that it looks similar to but not the same uh and so why is that because honestly i do think these wheels are better but let's not get into that i will continue to buy the escort cosworths when green life hammers them out if i like them anyway onto this one you can see there a right a slight shift in the gold instead of the white for the car culture hot wheels premium real riders metal on metal the same i recover already covered that there's mattel again there you have the fronts of the car and so there we have what else did i see i did not see this did not see that did not see that did not see that and obviously here is this one uh, on the subject of buying things you already have and so anything we need to see there rigid pandem obviously for those ones over there toyota tires g ready uh, shell ibac toyota and ford because these are all either except for the mercedes i don't see mercedes here does somebody else see it no uh interesting because i do believe ford and mercedes are not uh inclusive of each other and so i don't see mercedes here anywhere which is unusual black rhino some other stuff but uh looking for mercedes looking for mercedes right there but otherwise no symbol anyway enough a minute and a half of wasting your time i'm gonna pop this open and so people who know these two packs, unfortunately, they have not released, and I would like them to, unless I missed it already. Uh, the Lancia Delta, I know it came in the four pack with uh, rally cars, the RS200 and a bunch of other cars like the Quattro, but I already have those, and I don't want to buy three out of the four and not want that stupid truck. I don't know if I want another Escort, sorry, another Sierra Cosworth, but here we are. And so we will start with this one because this one, as you can see there, is nearly identical to this one, including, as it should be, the location of the spoiler. Wheels are actually not identical. So there's that. And so we should just keep in mind, the other thing I don't like about this one is the plastic used for the windshield is the translucent kind, extremely hard to see into the cabin, if not impossible. I would have to take a flashlight and you can see there just how hard it is to see through. 1987, there's the shell, reason for shell. And IBAC is there, Ford. I guess we can start with this, the top of it. There's the grills for the exterior. Sorry, the interior engine. The windshield wipers are etched onto the windshield. Two review mirrors are entirely black, painted. Shell, there's the Ford. 
uh, obviously the the light is something else as well because it is entirely solid black no insert no painted over nothing turning lights just colored in uh, yeah it is rubber as the premium is normally it is a rubber on plastic wheel 1987 their shell again eye back as well and there's the infamous whale tail and there we have a really poorly done I honestly think the rear lights uh, it looks kind of faded to me but that is also indicative of the one on the left now unfortunately this escort Cosworth sorry Sierra Cosworth doesn't have the writing on the left side which says RS Cosworth because of the red I don't know if that's a mispaint or a mistake but you can see there the Ford nice and clear but there's absolutely no letters on that and what do I mean by that is this you can just see there on the left, there's that on the left side it says there Sierra or is Cosworth and you will not be getting that on this and is that due to the red no they can just change the color like they did everything else on that one there's the exhaust like I said the opaque black interior and the opaqueness of the Plastic makes it extremely hard to see into the interior of the car, which is sort of a letdown. Uh, and I'll bring that up with that green light later on. Side spoiler, same thing. Splitter, the same thing. And the underside, I honestly do prefer the matte black over the shiny black, so that's another thing too. There you have it, Sierra Cosworth as part of this two-part set. And 2021, they are both the same. Uh, release. And then on to, this, on to this one, which is the the one that I don't own. And you can just see the roll cage in there, the steering wheel. On the, I believe it's the left side, which is highly unusual. But this is a rally vehicle, so they have taken out that right seat. Although it doesn't seem to me that, no, the right seat is taken out. As for a rally vehicle, I think they were used as such, but I think it just might be racing in general. And so she slipped it, slip the seat slightly into towards the middle. Makes it easier to see left and right side, I believe. I am no expert. Anyway, onto the car. Everything here is painted on. There's no inserts whatsoever. Uh, you have Ford in the middle there, number one. There is the two grille inserts for the hood. Done better on the green light. Uh, to the left side we have and you can just see what I mean by how fuzzy the uh, decals are like look at that Ford credit and then Ford underneath it's almost impossible to read that but I do believe it's the G ready part of the sponsors the wheels are also vastly inferior to the uh, even the base model over there is better done than this and that's one of the things I don't like. But, however, it does have the clear see-through windshield, plastic, the rear view mirrors. Onto the back, Team Ford. And that's what I was saying. Uh, Escort RS Cosworth is not on the back of the, sorry, the red one. So technically, these two ones would be closer to each other than that one. But then you have the mediocre paint job of the rear lights. And absolutely nothing on the license plate, so there's absolutely no balance. So while it's nice to have, it's not uh, perfect by any means a stretch of the manual imagination. And I it says Ford Motorsport Ford. I missed that off the top. There you have the two cut-ins. And so there we have it. No opening hood, obviously. No opening doors, nothing. And the matte black, which is in contrast to the shiny black over there. And you have 1993 Ford Escort RS Cosworth. And a year later, this was released, made in Thailand, 2022. So how does it scale up with this one? It is much, much physically larger. And obviously, not one of the one of them. Obviously, I have brought up before. Uh, oh, Mattel does not do specifically a scaling to anything. So they just do whatever they want, which is fine. Uh, but overall, if you're going to pay $6.99, $7.99 for these things here in Canada, uh, when you get it, it is just obviously better. Plus, it's the right-hand drive. 
Perhaps Greenlight will do a racing version, like a Pan Americana. Obviously, it wasn't used for that, perhaps. But uh, you can see there the right-hand drive of the vehicle. Meanwhile, this RS Carsworth, which they were built, I believe, in Belgium, but they were built for the English market. So this one obviously has a modded feel to it for the, obviously, the roll cage and everything else. To fit it in, you've got to move the seat towards the middle and take out that middle seat. And so thus, you don't feel bad when you have this one, which just looks like a normal car. But you know it's the Escort uh, Cosworth. And so there you have it. The two uh, Cosworths, one Ford Escort and one Ford Sierra. And then there you have what I was talking about, the grill from before. So, how do I feel on this? Well, the price actually from uh, Walmart did not go up. That's where I picked this up. But honestly... I do feel that one was be done better than this one. And this Escort Cosworth does not look as good as the green light one. So I have an issue, obviously, I've said it before a hundred times. Uh, the decals on these things are subpar at best. But otherwise, this one is nice and easy to see inside. And that's the major failing of this one is you can't see inside that thing at all. Right? Look at the difference. And there's no reason for it, they just decided, you know what? Here you are, can't see the inside, it's one third of the car, and you can't see into it, plus the matte black, I do honestly believe it's better. And this one is a steel gray. Anyway, fans and friends, thanks for putting up with me. This is Tom, this is from Toronto, reviewing these two Cosworths, one Sierra, one Escort. Thanks for watching, and until the next one.